Hi guys, I am Siddharthan. This is the 8th video in our Python basics module in our machine learning course. So in this video, I am going to explain you about one of the important concepts in programming. So it is nothing but functions. So we are going to see what is meant by functions and how we can implement functions in Python. Okay. So as you can see here, I have made a description about function here. So a function is a block of code that can be reused in a program. So this is about function. So let's say that we have a thousand line of code in python okay so in that thousand line of code there is a particular block of code which is uh, then the length of that particular block of code is 100 lines and in our thousand line code we need to use this particular underlines again and again so what we can do is instead of writing this underlines again and again we can just create a function so by creating a function you can reuse it and you don't need to write the entire code again so you just need to mention a word and using that word you can call that entire hundred lines of uh, code okay so i'll explain you this with an example okay so what we will do is so i'll create factorial program of a number so factorial factorial of a number so you can understand about functions better with an example so i'll explain you how you can create a function for factorial of a number so so what is a factorial so i'll just give you a definition about it factorial of a number is the product of all the positive numbers the positive integers less than or equal to the given number okay so so factorial of a number is the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to number equal to the given number so we would have learned about this uh, in our uh, you know early classes in school so let me give you an example of factorial let's say that we want to find the factorial of 5 so factorial of so as you can see the definition above so factorial is nothing but the product of all the integers of all the values that should be less than 5 in this case so it's nothing but so less than and equal to 5 so it's 5 into 5 4 3 2 one. so the product of all these numbers which are less than and equal to 5 will be the factorial of 5 and the value will be 120 so the factorial of 5 is 120 so this is how you can find the factorial of a number by multiplying it with all the numbers less than and equal to it okay now let's see how we can create or how we can find the factorial of a number in python okay so i'll create a variable as number and let me put input enter a number to find its factorial okay so this input function asks the input from the user so the in user will give a number and we will find the factorial of that particular number okay and we need to mention int here because you can see the input function here so this input function consider that the value given by the user is string so strings are nothing but text so we need to convert that text to an integer okay so so number is equal to int so we need to find the factorial of this number okay so what you can do is create another vari variable called as factorial let's put factorial is equal to 1 as the initial value so as you would know that factorial of 1 is 1 and also factorial of 0 is one so there is this important point to note here that the factorial of zero is not zero but one okay so i'll create uh, this factorial vari variable and give it the value of one now let's say that if number if the value number is nothing but the value given by the user if the number is equal to zero so you should put two equal to because it means the number if the number is exactly equal to zero so if the number is equal to zero in that case i want to print that the factorial of 0 is so as i have told you factorial of 0 is 1 okay so 
if the number is not equal to 0 if the user gives some other input input except 0 so what we need to do is we can make an else condition here so else we can use a for loop to find the factorial for i in range 1 comma number plus 1 okay so i'll explain you about this after completing this loop factorial is equal to factorial into i okay so what i'm basically doing is so you can see this step here so for factorial of i we need to multiply 5 by 4 3 2 and 1 so that is what i am doing in this for loop so let's say that the number is 5 so what happens is so the value of number in this case will be 5 and you can see here we have mentioned the number here so th the range in this case will be so range of 1 comma number plus 1 okay so number plus 1 here the uh, number will be 5 so 5 plus 1 is 6 so basically a range of 1 to 6 means all the numbers between 1 and 6 and this is the important point to note here that it will include 1 but it will exclude 6 so when we mention the range here so it will include this first value but it will exclude this second value so what it basically means is so range of 1 comma 6 means it includes all the values from 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this 6 will not be included but the previous number will be included so 1 will be included and 6 will be excluded so as you can see here we have 1 2 3 4 5 and we need to multiply all these numbers which will give the factorial of that particular number so this is what we are doing in this uh, for loop so when i is running when this for loop is running for the first time it will take the first value in this range so the first value in this range is nothing but 1 right so it will take the value of 1 so as you can see here we have already initiated the value as 1 for factorial so 1 into 1 which is 1 so and as it completes this particular statement it again goes to the top of this loop now it will take the second value which is 2 right now it will again go here now factorial is equal to factorial into i now it's nothing but so when the for loop runs for the second time so factorial will be equal to already the factorial is equal to 1 and second time the factorial will be equal to sorry this i will be equal to 2 and as the for loop continues to run so in the third step it will be 1 into 2 into 3 in the third in the fourth step it's nothing but 1 into 3 into 4 and finally it's 1 2 3 4 5 so this 1 2 3 4 5 and the product of all these numbers gives nothing but the factorial of 5 so this is what we have done in this particular for loop okay so now i just need to print this factorial value right so let, let us print this but this print should be in this indentation same line of for because it comes under this else loop sorry else condition okay so by this for loop we will find the factorial of the given number so print the factorial of number Yes. So basically, I'm substituting the values. So the factorial of uh, the number given by the user is the value we have found here. Okay. So let us run this. Now the user should give a value. Let's give the value as five. Okay. So as you can see here, the factorial of five is one twenty. So this is how you can find the factorial of a number in Python. So let me run this again. Now let's say that the value is 10 so we need to find the factorial of 10 so the factorial of 10 is this particular number so you can check it whether uh, the answer is correct or not so this is the exact factorial of 10 okay so now we have created this factorial function let's say that we want to find the factorial of some other numbers okay so we cannot write this entire all the lines of code again so for this particular purpose we can use a function so this is why function is used because it can be reused so that is the application of function 
that it is a block of code that can be reused so i'll explain you how you can create a factorial function now so this is creating a factorial program and this is how to put that in a function so factorial function so for creating a function you need to mention the keyword def so def which means define so we are defining a function so let's name our function as factorial value okay so we are going to do the same thing that we have done here but we will do that in this function name called as factorial value and inside this i'll mention that input value we are going to give let's say that input number or i'll just put num okay so you can see the indentation here also so so we have to do all the things we have done here so i hope you have understood how to find the factorial of a number so factorial is equal to 1 if the number is equal to 0 we have to say that the factorial is 1 so what we will do is let's not print but we'll return so this uh, function will return a value so if the uh, number given by the user is 0 so we have used this variable as num so we should uh, mention it here so if the value given by the user is 0 it should return the value which is factorial so we need to mention this also okay so we have already mentioned the factorial is equal to 1 okay now else so as you can see here then we have used this else condition right so i'll just do that else for i in range return factorial okay so i'm just copying this same piece of code but i'm putting this inside this function called as factorial value okay so this will return the factorial value so let's try to run this code so we have successfully created our function factorial value so what happens is if you call this factorial value and give a particular number it will print the factorial of that number so i'm going to print factorial value factorial value of let's say that 5 so i want to find the factorial value of 5 and now okay so sorry it has took the value from here so we just need to mention that so this is the part where i have made the mistake okay so i should give num because that is what we are taking here number means it takes this value so i'll just run this again now let's find the factorial of i so as you can see here now it will give the value of i so we don't need to write this entire piece of code again or we don't need to run this entire code we can just uh, again just call the function which is factorial value and you can mention some number let's say that we want to find the factorial of 10 and now it prints the factorial value of 10 so as you can see here so instead of writing this uh, 11 lines of code again so i have just put it in a single word so this word is now called as a function so as you can see here so inside this function and i have mentioned all the statements that can find the factorial of a number and when i call this function with a particular value in it it will give us the factorial value of that particular number so you can find any uh, factorial sorry factorial value of any number so factorial value of let's say 6 so this is the use of function so as you can see here we have reused this particular block of code by defining the function as factorial value so what happens is when you mention this factorial value and mention a number inside it or a value inside it so this will call this function which is factorial value and inside this number the input which we have given will go and this particular uh, block of code will be carried out so this is the use of function 
so the advantage of function is that even uh, under lines of code can be compiled to a single uh, function name okay so i hope you have understood about function and the advantage of using functions in our code so that is all for this video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching